And I'm thinking about the good times that we had My friend said you were overrated I always told them they couldn't understand The things you did to me You showed me what it's like to fall in love Hello everyone, this is Chai of the East and welcome back to my channel Today, I will be doing a basic tutorial on how to make an audio spectrum using Adobe After Effects. This is really quick and very simple and I hope you will stay with me until the end of this tutorial. Now let's open up our After Effects. First is make a new composition and then rename it to whatever you like and then make sure that the resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels and then let's set the frame rate to 30 you can change the duration of your composition depending on how long your song is I'm going to set it to 3 minutes and 20 seconds and let's just leave the background color to black and then click OK. Now we're going to import the image and audio that we're going to use in this tutorial. Just go to File, Import, File, and then highlight the image and audio and click Open. Now let's drag the image background to our timeline. And then from your keyboard, press S or Scale. To fit your image if needed, just drag it to where you want to. Then let's drag the audio and then let's create a solid layer for our audio spectrum. All you have to do is click right here, click control plus click your trackpad and then new solid. And then rename it to Audio Spectrum. Click OK. And then go to Effects. Generate Audio Spectrum. You see the small dots right here. This is our default audio spectrum. And from the top right here, we have this effect controls. This is where we're going to set everything. Let's start from the audio layer. I'm going to set our audio to where our audio is. And then click start point here to change the position of your audio spectrum. As well as the end point. Now let's change the start frequency to 20 and end frequency to 1500 frequency bands to 100 maximum height to 1000 and thickness to 2.5 and then let's change the inside color to white as well as the outside color too and then go to effect and presets and then search for glow and drag it to our audio spectrum. Right now you don't really see what's going on but when I move this cursor right away, you will see it will start reacting to our audio spectrum. Then let's set our side options from B to A. In that way it's only going up and not going down. And then let's duplicate our audio spectrum right here. Press Ctrl plus D and then right click. Choose rename and then change it to reflection. Go to effects and presets and search for reflection and then drag it to our solid layer and then right click and select transform and then flip vertical and then just drag it underneath to our first audio spectrum and from your keyboard press t to change the opacity 
let's change it to 30 percent and then go to effects and presets and search for glue and then again drag it to our layer and then let's add a text to our audio spectrum let's go to our audio file right here and then right click on it and then rename and press ctrl plus c to copy the text and click this text toolbar up here and then ctrl plus v to paste let's move the text up here so we can see it let's just remove some text because we only need the title next is let's add a layer style to our title right click and then layer style and then choose drop shadow and then let's duplicate to add another text and then just drag it to where you want to and then let's rename it to audio spectrum and then let's change the text size to 50 and that's it now let's export our project click on file export and then select add to adobe media encoder queue a new window will appear if you already installed adobe media encoder and project file will be automatically added to the media encoder queue click on start queue and it will start the conversion process It's accelerating when I'm thinking about the good times that we had. My friend said you were overrated. I always told them they couldn't understand. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If it is, please leave a comment in the section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below so you'll get updated every time I will upload a new video. Thank you for watching.